So in this video, we will list some of the common spreadsheet applications which are available, learn about the key capabilities of the spreadsheets and discuss why spreadsheets might be a useful tool for a data analyst. So there are several spreadsheet applications available in the marketplace. Some of them are more widely known and used than others and some are free while others need to be paid. By far the most commonly used spreadsheet application and the most fully featured of them all is Microsoft Excel. So the desktop version comes in a paid form as part of the office suit and some Microsoft 365 subscriptions. But there is also a web based cut down version which is called Excel for the web or also known as Excel online. So the online version is free to users with the Microsoft account but does not offer all the advanced features that the desktop version provides. The next most popular is Google Sheets which offers a lot though not all of the features that Excel provides and is free with a Google account. This is a web based application and it integrates nicely with other Google apps such as Google Forms, Google Analytics and Google Data Studio. Then there is LibreOffice Calc, a totally free and open source desktop spreadsheet application that offers more basic functionality than Excel or Google Sheets but still has a lot of tools you need for data analysis such as charts, conditional formatting and pivot tables. Other spreadsheet apps include Zoho Sheet, a fully featured web based application that is comparable with Google Sheets, Open Office Calc, Quip from Salesforce, Smartsheet which is predominantly for project management and Apple numbers which is included with Apple devices such as Mac computers and is also available on the App Store for other Apple devices. So there are many spreadsheet applications options opens to you from fully featured to basic from paid for to free versions. So it's up to you to decide which one best fits your needs and your budget. Now next, spreadsheets provide a lot of advantages. So spreadsheets, the first one you can say that like uh, once you have your formulas correctly written, you can be assured that your calculations are accurate and that the calculations will be performed automatically for you. So spreadsheets also help keep your data organized and easily accessible. Your data can be easily formatted, filtered and sorted to suit your needs. If you do make mistakes in your data entry or your calculations, you can easily edit them, undo them or use error checking tools to help remedy those mistakes. And lastly, you can analyze data in spreadsheets, create charts, graphs and reports to help visualize your data analysis. So since spreadsheet software for personal computers first appeared on the market in 1970s with VC Calc on the Apple to PC spreadsheets have come a long way in terms of the capabilities and features they now offer businesses from uncomplicated tables and relatively simple computations to powerful tools for the analysis management and visualization of the enormous sets of data. The most common business uses for spreadsheet applications so these are these like uh, from starting from 
to different years so now the most common business uses for spreadsheet application includes the following the first is the data entry and storage comparing large data sets modeling and planning charting identifying trends flow charts for business processes tracking business sales financial forecasting budgeting forensic auditing invoicing scheduling and many more these are some non business uses for spreadsheet applications some are personal expenses household budgeting recipe library fitness tracking calorie counting weight monitoring sports leagues contact list shopping list christmas card list so various options are there now as a data analyst you can use spreadsheets as a tool for your data analysis tasks including collecting and harvesting data from one or more distributed and different sources cleaning data to remove duplicates inaccuracies errors and resolve missing values to improve the quality of the data analyzing data by filtering sorting and interpreting it to determine what useful information can be gleaned from it and last is visualizing data to help you tell a story about your data analysis findings to key business stakeholders and uh, any other interested parties within your organization